very nice listening going on at the front. <laughs> um, okay, so we have some speeches coming up, starting with my wonderful daughter, May Tao. Whether you've come from abroad or walking distance, I'm so honoured that you're here to share this weekend with me. I'm also so lucky to have such lovely friends, family friends, and family. Talking of family, I don't think this evening would be complete without a speech from my sister Leia. <laughs> Maytel is honestly the person who knows me best out of everyone I know. I'm not so sure whether or not that's a good thing. <laughs> she is so funny. <laughs> and I can tell her almost anything. Except I can't trust that the whole world won't know what I told her the next minute. <laughs> taller than me. <laughs> I am looking forward to the many more decades to spend with you by my side. I am so proud of all your achievements including winning the English chess title for your age category. <laughs> and getting the courage of honour at school. <laughs> so anyway I wish you the best for life and I hope this party is amazing just like you. Anyway I put together a slideshow with some embarrassing photos especially for you. so we decided that we'd become lunchtime buddies and we play games like the Stuck Together Twins and Families. I relish these memories because, as I said before, I didn't really have any friends and you always stuck by my side whenever I needed you. Hi, I'm Melissa. I remember in year five you pretended to love horses just as much as I did. I used to drag you to one side and talk endlessly about ponies and you pretend to understand when I knew you didn't. I felt the same way about chess, to be honest, I didn't really understand it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sophie. I'm going to start off with the first words I said with you when I met you, Maytel. Will you be my friend? And yes, I still remember that, weirdly. <laughs> anyway, those words started our friendship, and we've, been a, and we've had a strong bond ever since. You were such a good best friend until that school trip in year one. I can't remember <laughs> the exact details, but we were at the zoo, and I was being really energetic, as usual. And I was squeezing your hand because I was so excited. Then you were complaining of a headache and screaming at me because I wouldn't let go of your hand or hold it less tightly. <laughs> after, that, after that, you began to lose your patience and said, Stop holding my hand or I'll be, or I'll be best friends with the new girl, <coughs> Emily. <laughs> so then we've all been friends together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily, and Maytel has been an amazing friend to me ever since that day 
in year one when Sally, the teaching assistant, came over to you and said, why don't you go play with a new girl with me? You were on your own because Sophie held your hand too tightly on that trip to the zoo. I clearly remember seeing you just on your own, sitting on the bench. You looked so lonely. Sally is probably the reason we're friends. Anyway, we're going to finish off with some interesting memories. Enjoy. Go on your birthday trip to Winter Wonderland. We were supposed to be asleep, but I decided to put the sleeping bag over my head and wander around the room blind. And you were directing me where to go, and I somehow managed to jump on the bed and then fall off again. And um, also, um, whenever, whenever we, it was lunchtime in like the junior schools, um, we played Chatty Club, which was sort of like the lunchtime buddies, and whenever someone tried to join into our conversations, we always ran away from them. <laughs> On the school trip to Whitby last year, we shared a room, and we have so many memories from that. We shared loads of secret biscuits that we weren't really allowed to have. And we made some quite rude shapes on the ceiling with my torchlight when we were supposed to be asleep. We made shadow animals with our hands and ended up giggling so loudly a teacher came in and told us off for being too noisy. After we both let Bro left Brooklyn, me, you and Emily decided to meet up at the school fair. By the end of the fair you had spent most of your money but had just enough left to buy a hot dog. You were absolutely starving so you brought one and so did me and Emily. You were able to get some ketchup when a, when a small child nudged your elbow. Not only was your knee covered in ke ketchup, but your wonderful hot dog was all over the floor. Emily and I were eating ours in front of you, and I can never forget your face when I finally finish mine. Sorry, Mater, but at least you know I, you won't be hungry this evening. <laughs> some of you remember from junior school, Samuel, the most annoying person on this planet. Well, there was a half time in year five when Maytal, you were sitting next to him, with me behind you. And as the prankster he was, when you went off to sharpen your pencil once, he decided it would be a great idea to cover your seat in glue. He went away just as you came back, and I told you to swap the seats. You put even more glue on the seat and swapped them. When he finally came back and sat on the seat, expecting you stuck down to your seat, he suddenly looked shocked and tried to free himself from that sticky situation. And when he did, he threw your pencil case in the bin. He got so badly teased with that white mark on the back of his trousers. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening and trying or pretending not to be bored. Maytal, we've all known you for the majority of our lives and we wouldn't replace those years for the world. Thank you for being our friend. And finally, Mazel Anyone, you've got a lot of memories, but I think those are very funny. <laughs> so, actually, just a quick uh, correction on the story Samuel sat down, he was glued to his chair, and I had to stay behind in half of lunch break, like helping to clean the chair, but I didn't own up to putting the glue on his chair. And he was stuck to his chair for a bit anyway. So, um, I think. <laughs> um, many people here will um, have just moved to secondary schools. I think it's very hard to feel welcomed in such a change of atmosphere. But I'm so lucky to have amazing friends to welcome me. I've only met Ellie and Rush since September. We've got so many, many memories together, and I'm sure you'll be hilarious. Secondary school will be after after the main course.
Apple. In the meantime, enjoy. Juicy stuff. So, pictures of juicy people. Pictures of juicy stuff. Pictures of juicy, juicy objects. objects. You know, get that. The truth is brewing out. So, <laughs> okay. but it's going to be worth it. And yes, there are steps. only $3.99. You know, it can't get better than that. You know, share it over to us all. Still very good friends here. now and uh, um, do my duty as a proud father. So first thing I'd like to say to those people who know me is I got my hair cut. <laughs> I did get my hair cut. I told you I was doing good time. So Maytal, tell a story about Maytal. When she was a baby she used to combat crawl everywhere and <clears throat> she, um, as she got older she learned to speak, she learned to speak two languages but she was still crawling everywhere a year and a quarter old, a year and a half old, she was still crawling and people said, aren't you worried? Aren't you, uh, you know, shouldn't you get her, take her to a doctor to get her checked? And me and Mandy said, we're not worried. Uh, when she goes to high school, she'll walk. <laughs> and look everyone, she's in high school and she can walk! Yeah. So, so I'm a very proud father of her walking, of her doing a bat mitzvah, and, uh, and many, other, many other things. So bat mitzvah, it's a great uh, occasion to bring together family and friends to celebrate the coming of age of our youngest daughter. And I'm glad so many of you have managed to be here to celebrate with us. Um, we heard Maytal's uh, friends from Brooklyn, so a wonderful group of friends. They've all been scattered to different corners of uh, North London in different secondary schools. But I hope you guys stay together uh, for many, many years to come. And also, it's great to hear uh, Maytal's new friends from Henrietta Barnett. She's only been there a short time, and it's great she's got such a, such a wonderful group of friends, uh, uh, friends to get together with her. Um, I'd just say a few words for people who, uh, um, who couldn't be here today. First, uh, my grandmother, Sapta Liesel, um, who died um, two months ago, a few weeks short of her 100th birthday. As the rabbi said uh, yesterday, she was teaching gymnastics, gymnastics until she was 99 years old. And she always, uh, you know, he, uh, the rabbi couldn't believe it, but that is, uh, it, you know, she was the oldest gymnast in Batyam, if not in Israel, if not in, if not in the world. And, um, she always um, made us feel welcome when we came to visit her in Israel. She was always an inspiration for us. She lived through many things and did many great things in her life. So I hope we all can, you know, it's an example for all of us. 
And um, on other side of the spectrum, um, my brother Sasha uh, couldn't be here for a good reason. He's got, uh, he's expecting a, a new kid be, um, born any any day now. So we'll soon, uh, please God, have a muzzle top to him. Uh, so finally to Metal, just say the last 12 years has been a great adventure. Watching you grow up, watching your talents uh, flourish, and um, and we look forward to seeing how you grow in the future and how you use your your many talents for for good things. So thank thank you for everyone for coming and enjoy the evening. And uh, most most important, I'd like to say a few things to the grandparents, to my parents, Daniela and Jerry, and to Mandy's uh, mum Hilary who are we're all honoured to have them here today and have them uh, share this wonderful uh, um, event with us and share our lives and be a guiding uh, light of experience for all of us. So uh, uh, with that I'll uh, welcome my father Jerry to make the next speech. Hello everyone, um, it's the first time I've seen Amram with a clean shirt for a long time. <laughs> it's a great occasion for me to be here, um, and Daniela. Um, I used to think I had just some four lovely granddaughters, but actually there's two women here rolling around, one of them is Maytown and one is Leia, and they're apparently my granddaughters, they're almost uh, too old for me to make jokes with anymore. But uh, it's been wonderful to come here, the food has been great, and all I can say is, roll on for all the other bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs, and welcome to everyone, and I hope we'll all be here to celebrate the next one. Morning. Thank you very much. No, so thank you for thank you for everyone. I think that concludes our speeches. There's more dessert to come, more dancing to come. So enjoy. Thank you.